Hi, I'm Hassan, the lecturer here at the Institute of Medical Education, and today we're going to take a look at solutions to Section 3 of ACES GAPS at Pink Booklet, Practice Test 3, specifically Unit 17, Questions 50 to 51. And in this unit, uh, we've been shown a figure uh, that shows the percentage of flies that are in diapause. So diapause is uh, a stage where flies don't grow and develop, and we've been told that um, this the flies in diapause when the number of hours of artificial daylight in each 24 hour day is varied. So we have to be able to um, distinguish or try to understand what the figure is showing. Now you probably noticed the figure I have here is different to the figure that they have in the stimulus. I flipped the figure. So ACE is purposely trying to trick you here because in the figure ACE provides, it gives you the percentage of flies in diapause. Whereas the questions for 1551, they're asking you questions about flies that aren't in diapause. So you kind of have to, whatever your answer you find, you've got to, it's the reciprocal, so it's flipped. So that's why I flipped the graph here. So um, I flipped it so that on the y-axis here, I've got flies not in diapause, and in the x-axis, it's hours of light per day. Upon reflection, I just noticed that this line should be just a bit lower, but it's still, uh, it's still the, same, uh, the same idea. So it's going to be the same trend. So if we... Um, if we take a look at the figure that ASA provides, it's important to know what it's saying. The x-axis is telling you, if we shine a light, let's say, for zero hours, um, or if we don't shine a light at all to these flies, it's showing us that about 55% of the flies will be in diapause. If we take a look at another one, let's say 16 hours. If we shine a light for... Uh, 16 hours on these flies, the percentage of flies in diapause will be zero. So if we say 12 hours, it will be 100%. So that's what it's showing us. So I kind of flipped it here, and we'll go through uh, the question, and you'll see why if you flip it. I mean, look, in the game set, you might not have time to just redraw the graph and flip it. You just have to do it some mental arithmetic in your head. But just to show you, just uh, it's easier to see it if you see it when the graph is flipped. So this is question 50. 80% of the fly population grows and develops when the number of hours of light per day is somewhere between. Now here's the trick. It says 80% grow and develop. The y-axis that's provided by ASA has diapause where there's no growth and development. So the 80% where there's growth and development is going to be the 20% on that graph. That's why I flipped it here, because if you flip the graph, you're going to see, well, 80% aren't in diapause, the ones that are going to be um, developing and growing. So if we go across here, 80% is somewhere between 14 and 15. So if I draw a line, that it's going to be somewhere between the 14 and 15 mark. So we know, therefore, if we use this graph, the, the graph that would have made it so much easier, but obviously Acer just wants to see if you can read graphs, the answer for 50 has to be C. But if we're using the graph that Acer provides, note that if it's growing and developing, it's not in diapause. So we've got to look at the 20% mark. So if 20% of flies are in diapause, that means 80% are growing and developing. So if we take a look at the 20% mark, we draw a line across, we can see that it's this nice decreasing linear line that's going somewhere between 14 and 15. So the closest answer to that is going to be 50C. Now, if we take a look at um, the last question, question 51, it asks, for which of the following does the largest percentage of the fly population grow and develop? Again, they're asking you about the growth and development of the population of flies, even though the graph is diapause. So it's the flipped reciprocal. So let's take a look. So we've got 0, 6, 10, 14 hours. So let's take a look at my graph. You can see um, at the zero mark, it should be about, let's say, 45, 50%. Sorry about the, the overshoot. When I drew this in the, um, in the drawing program, I just didn't realize I overshot it a bit, but it's fine. But you can see it's around 50% for zero hours. So um, those are the ones that are going to be growing and developing. For six hours, it's about, let's say over here, let's say 20%. For 10 hours, it's almost zero. And for 14 hours, 
let's say it's about just below. So if we take a look then at, um, well, clearly you can see the answer has to be zero hours of light per day. So the answer for 51 is A. That's if you use my graph where I flipped it. But let's just use ACES graph. So an ACES graph, just have to literally point. So if it says zero hours, let's look at zero hours on the graph. So we've got about 55% are in diapause, which means 45% are going to be growing and developing. So that's for zero hours. So let's say zero hours, about 45% growing and developing, what we said at the top. If we look at the six hours, it's about 85%. So they've got about, let's say, 85, 90% um, are in diapause, which means 15% are going to be growing. So if we take a look at 10 hours, it's 100%. So 0% are growing. So if we take a look at the 14 hours, now this is the trick here. This is why it's a bit tricky because the 14 and the zero hours are pretty similar. So the 14, if you draw a line up, it's about the 70% mark, which means about 30%. So maybe I might draw it down here somewhere. But again, yeah, my, my diagram, sorry. Don't look at it. It's not drawn to scale. I had to draw a nice funny little line, but you get the point. So it's about say 30, 40%, let's say about 40%, just to make me feel good about myself. So we know the answer for 51 has to be A because I guess Asia tried to trick you, flip the numbers around because we're looking for flies that are developing which aren't in diapause. So um, this question, when I saw this, I was just like, ah, you, you, again, you don't have to have any knowledge in any biology, chemistry, physics, or anything, you just have to be able to read the axes properly. So if you read the axes properly, you'll be fine. If you have any more questions or queries about this uh, unit, you can post them in the comment section below, or you can contact us directly. Thanks for your time. Bye now.